Players who are looking to get their S plus rankings on Resident Evil 4 will need to move fast if they want to reach their time benchmarks. The Resident Evil 4 remake requires its players to complete at least two different playthroughs with S plus rankings if they want to gain every achievement or trophy, and as many as four if they want 100% completion. If players want to earn those S plus rankings, they will need to be fast as the single requirement for most S plus ranks is finishing within a certain amount of time, with professional mode also requiring the player to save the game 15 or fewer times. Further, the fact that an S plus ranking cannot be achieved through Resident Evil 4's new game plus means that players will have to do all this with the bare minimum of weapons and equipment. Many players, then, will need all the help that they can get in order to reach their time benchmarks and successfully gain their S plus rankings. With this in mind, here are a few tips to help players speed run through Resident Evil 4. Remember puzzle solutions across different save files. Before a player begins attempting to get their S plus rankings, it could benefit them to first do a more casual playthrough to learn the solutions to the game's various puzzles, as just knowing those answers ahead of time can significantly cut down the gamer's time. In particular, if players know the solution to a specific clock puzzle, they can skip nearly half of Chapter 9. Some puzzles, such as the electronic lock puzzles, do have different solutions at higher difficulties, but even they will never be random and can always be memorized ahead of time. Use the Attaché Case's auto sort. Many players love the Attaché Case inventory system in Resident Evil 4 as it is practically a puzzle game all on its own. However, the game's clock is still always running whenever the player is sorting through their attaché case, and many players may be surprised by how quickly that time adds up. While it is less fun and often doesn't look as nice, players who are going for their S plus rank should instead consider using the auto sort feature. One button and everything is made to fit into the case. Ignore most enemies whenever possible. Players will often find themselves in large areas that are full of enemy mobs, and those that are going for their S plus run should be aware that it is almost never necessary to defeat them all. In fact, this only serves to run up the clock. Instead, players should run through these encounters, aiming for the exit or whatever puzzle needs to be solved, and keep moving forward the enemies won't follow Leon to the next area. Players will occasionally need to worry about Ashley, who can be picked up and carried away, resulting in a game over, but a simple pistol shot or two at her assailant, and she will be dropped and can continue following Leon. Costumes and bonus weapons are extremely helpful. One great thing about the S plus rankings is that there are no restrictions on using any of the unlockable costumes or weapons and some of these can make an S plus run vastly easier. The most well-known of these is, of course, Ashley's armor, which makes it so that Ashley is completely impervious to damage and can't be picked up and carried off by random enemies. This makes many encounters where Leon has to protect Ashley much faster. Another example is the Chicago Sweeper, a machine gun that can be upgraded to have infinite ammo. Once players have the Chicago Sweeper in hand and don't need to worry about Ashley getting in the way of a hail of bullets or getting carried off, many have found getting their S plus rankings to be a breeze. Get the exclusive upgrade ticket as fast as possible. It may sound counterintuitive at first, but actually, if players take a little time off the beaten path to complete side quests in the first area, it can make the rest of the game far easier. By fulfilling all eight merchant requests within the village area, players will gain exactly 30 spinels, which they can then use to obtain the exclusive upgrade ticket from the merchant before they ever step foot inside the castle. The exclusive upgrade ticket instantly unlocks one weapon's ultimate ability, while also giving that weapon a lot of free upgrades too. No matter what a player's weapon of choice is, Having one so powerful early in the game can make Leon completely overpowered in many combat encounters. Hey, you gamers out there! Do you want to stay up to date with the latest gaming news and get access to tips, 
and tricks to improve your gaming skills? Then subscribe now to my YouTube gaming channel. I bring fun and engaging content with exciting gameplay, funny comments, and much more. Plus, I'm always on the lookout for new games to showcase to my subscribers, so you'll always have something new and interesting to watch. Don't waste any more time. Subscribe now and become part of the most entertaining gaming community on YouTube. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. See you there?